Hey everyone! Welcome back to Awesomer Kids! Today we're going to do a science experiment! Yes! Science! This experiment is really easy and fun, and the best part is, you probably have everything you need already at home. So go grab all this stuff if you want to follow along. Here's what you're going to need. Some milk? I have this little carton of organic milk, but you can use any type of milk. You'll also need some dish soap. Again, any type is fine. You'll also need some plates. Some food coloring. I have yellow, red, green, and blue. And lastly, you'll need something to dip into the soap, like a stick or Q-tip. Alrighty, let's commence the experiment. First, I'll pour in some milk into the plate so it's covered with a nice thin layer. And now I'll add some drops of food coloring. It doesn't really matter where you put the food coloring. The experiment will still work. You could put them close to each other to where they're touching or not touching. Once you add however many drops of food coloring you want, you'll just dip the stick into the soap and touch it to the milk. And then watch what happens. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, blast off. How cool is that? Let's do it again! The milk is going super crazy! So, you may be wondering how this is happening. Let me explain. The colors may look super crazy, but the science behind all this pretty much just involves the milk and the soap. The food coloring is just for a little extra fun. And it helps us see the movement of what's happening inside the molecules. You guys ready? Let's get scientifical! Milk is mostly water, but it also contains vitamins, minerals, protein, and fat. That's why milk is so good for you. So drink up, everyone. Fats and protein are very sensitive to changes in their surrounding. When the soap solution is added to the milk, the colors burst and move, creating an awesome rainbow art piece. The secret of this is what's in the soap solution. The soap weakens the chemical bonds that hold the protein and fat in the milk. When the soap is added, it races to try and connect with the fat and protein molecules. Think of it kind of like a game of tag you play with your friends. You're the soap, and your friends are the fat and protein molecules, and you want to try and catch them, but they're running all around trying to avoid you. The food coloring helps us see the game of tag. As the soap becomes evenly mixed with the milk, the movement slows down and the soap eventually stops affecting the milk. I used organic low-fat milk, but if you use milk with a higher fat content, you'll have an even more intense explosion of color, because there's more fat molecules for the soap to chase. Just like if you have more people playing tag, you'll have more people to chase. Pretty cool, right? So if you want me to do another video with some different variations of fat content, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up so I know. Let's do it again. How awesome is this experiment? Science is cool. See how when I dip the soap in the color it doesn't move anymore? That means every fat molecule is already taken and there's none left for the soap solution to join with. But when this happens, it doesn't mean the fun has to stop. You can do it again on a new plate. Let's do it again! This time I'll add some food coloring in a different pattern to see what happens. Here's the movement sped up so you can see how the soap is making the colors dance around. Looks like all the fat molecules are taken now.
let's do it again! And if you decide to do this experiment at home, take a picture and tag me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. I'd love to see what you guys made! That center hole is where the soap first touched the milk and the movement is all stemming from that area. As the soap molecules chase the fat molecules, you can see the color dancing and twisting and contorting. Looks like all the fat molecules are taken now. And I'm out of milk. Well this was a lot of fun. And remember if you want me to do another video where I use milk with a higher fat content, give this video a big thumbs up. Well until next time. This was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks!